Hi everyone, this is another video about the tricks which could be done with the countdown timer component. In this video I will be showing how to clone the item in a list along with the, all the sub-items. So what I want to do, I'm having the item Paris France with the sub-item and I want to create a copy of that. Uh, I have already uh, created the screens for that, so what I'm going to do, here is the list itself. As you can see, this is a list of orders, and inside this list of orders, there is a list of order items, which is filtered by current order. And on this item clone execution screen, I will do the all the cloning logic. So, uh, just trying to uh, think logically what should, how to clone the items. First, I need to create the new order item with the same name and data and call it, uh, say, order name dash copy. Uh, and after that, I need to uh, take all the items uh, from the original list item, all the sub items, and copy them, uh, clone them to the new order uh, to, to the new item in the uh, list of orders. So uh, let, let's start with just adding the clone button. So I'm adding the clone button and uh, what I'm going to do is to simply create the new order uh, with the order name will be the uh, current order order name dash copy. Uh, order items I will leave intact. Order ID uh, should be unique, so uh, I will create it uh, in the following way. I have, where is it, the uh, orders, order ID maximum plus one. I will later on use order ID in the uh, cloning process. So this one to be processed I will leave intact and uh, full text I will leave intact as well because it's not uh, really relevant to this um, example. So after that, uh, I will make a link to item clone execution screen. So that let's check which data we have here. In the available data, we have current order. But the thing is that it's going to be the new uh, freshly created order. So it's uh, really, we cannot address the original order and therefore the uh, items in the original order uh, from uh, item clone execution screen. So uh, let's put some text to indicate what order is it. Order will be current order order name and uh, order ID will be current order order ID. Okay, so now I need to solve the uh, problem how to get the items uh, from the uh, original order. So, uh, thinking logically, I need to store some unique, uh, unique ID identification number or I don't know, some unique property uh, of the original order. And as I said, we have order ID. So uh, I could use for storage um, database property for logged in user, but for this video, I decided to use uh, a input box. So let's put an input box to this. Of course, later on, you can hide it. Uh, let's call it uh, original order ID. And by pressing clone, I also before uh, linking to the screen, I will update, uh, no, I will change input value. Well, at first I will change input value and the input I will take from item, item clone execution screen uh, and I put the value of the order which I have here. So, which is current order, order ID. So, in this input, the order ID of this order will be stored. And then I create a new order and pass, pass the uh, data to this item clone execution screen. Okay, so what we need to do on this screen is to clone the uh, order items, so the uh, sub entries of the list. Uh, and here I will use the countdown timer. So let me first take the 
uh, create a custom list here. And it's going to be a list of order items. Uh, and the order items will be filtered by uh, all order items where order ID, because each order item belongs to an order ID, is equal to the data stored in this text field. So it form inputs original order ID. And let's uh, to show which order item is it. So it's current order item item name. Uh, and here, as usual, uh, you probably know how to use countdown timer to clone. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, I will add the component, the countdown timer component. Where is it? It is here. I will add the component to the list. Uh, put one seconds here, make it only seconds, a little bit smaller. And with the countdown down, or with the countdown finish, uh, I will add an action. So I create a new order item, and uh, the item name will be current order item item name dash copy. Order, uh, it's current order. So as you understand, the current order it's the newly created order, and uh, this one I will leave intact. So, and let's uh, add the button, uh, go back when uh, everything uh, is finished and I will add the action link back. Okay, so let's uh, test and see how it works. Okay, so what we have here, we have uh, three items. Let's try to clone this one. So you see this copy item has been created. Order ID 6. Let's press back and have a look. You see the copy has been created. Let's copy this one. Okay, back. Uh, as you can see, the copy of the item has been created. Uh, let's uh, improve uh, the logic and the visuals a bit. Uh, so first of all, uh, probably would like to uh, have some indication that the item has been copied. So uh, I will do it uh, in the following way. Uh, I will add the icon and uh, let's make it a checkbox not a checkbox but just check so uh, and this icon should appear only when uh, the uh, order item has been created so how can we uh, distinguish how can we find out that it had been uh, has been created so it will be visible only we have current order this is a new one so uh, we need to through the current order uh, we can access order items uh, which are not yet created. So we can count these order items where the name, where I'm assuming here that name is unique, uh, is equal, uh, let's make it contains the current order item, item name. So here we check that the there is a new order item with the same, with the, with the name which contains the, uh, the name. And uh, also to be sure that create a date of this new order item uh, is after current order item updated date, so that it's really new. And if it's greater than zero, then we show this check and uh, indicate that the item has been copied. Uh, let's see how it works. item plus plus item clone let's okay clone this one so you see checks and uh, as you can see the copy has been successfully created uh, and to expand this a little bit even further uh, I'd like to implement the automatic 
return to the original screen. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, there is a simple way to implement the automatic return. Uh, again, it's with countdown timer, as you may have guessed. Uh, but uh, the thing is that it should be used uh, in a, not in a very standard way. So if we just put, for example, four seconds, it could be the case that uh, this list will take some time to load. And if this timer will finishes before the, all the orders here are created, then uh, we end up in a case that uh, not all uh, sub, sub items uh, has been copied. So uh, what I need to do here is to show this timer only when the copying has been finished. Uh, so let me show how to do that. Again, I will make it a little bit smaller because it's quite big. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, Im, uh, to use uh, the input uh, field to store the indication that the items has been created. So uh, let me add the text input. Uh, I'll call it items copy. And uh, First, uh, let me not to forget to initialize this input before we get to this screen. So I will change input value, uh, the input from this item clone execution screen and items copied, I will set to no. And uh, then I will make this countdown timer conditionally visible and this timer will be visible only if form input items copied is equal to yes. And the only action for this countdown timer will be link back. Uh, so the only thing left is to uh, change the value of this input. So. I think it uh, could be done, for example, with the additional action upon the finish of creating of copying the item. So I change input value, the input items copied, I will set to yes. So it's not a perfect solution because as you imagine, if there are 10 items, it's going to be 10 times set to yes. Uh, not very optimal, but still it works. So let's have a look at the result. So we have, uh, let's copy the, okay, the Paris, Paris entry, make a copy of a copy. So you see, uh, the item has been copied and we have like a secondary copy here. Uh, thank you. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, the video was inspired by some question on the forum. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos and tutorials. See you soon.